Hey guys, what's up? I'm uh, going to make you another video today. Um, I actually watched my uh, previous video after I kind of already had downloaded it and stuff like that. And I noticed that like uh, a lot of the angles and stuff like that, you really couldn't see much. Um, couldn't see like the animals uh, in some of them. So I apologize for that. Um, but I know you guys wanted to see animals and I needed to get a video out there. So I just uh, kind of pushed it along. It's definitely not one of my better ones. Um, but uh, today I'll break uh, some stuff down a little bit more for you. Um, I noticed in the video, no matter how much I really messed with it, you couldn't really see the ovulations um, on the, the females. So what I'm going to do is actually take some pictures of uh, uh, some females that are ovulating. Um, so you can, uh, and I'm going to post them on my Facebook, um, so you guys can actually see them, uh, see how or where the positioning is of the ovulations and stuff like that, because they're actually offset a little bit. Um, they're not like perfectly straight across, um, but uh, I'll post that stuff up on Facebook. Um, I'll also post uh, some pictures of like how to sex the animals because you definitely want to make sure that you're putting uh, a male and a female together. Uh, that's a big thing. You put two males together, they're going to kill each other if you don't uh, take them out like pretty quick. Um, so uh, definitely you got to make sure that they're sexed properly, make sure that she's ovulating, and I'll put some pictures of that stuff up for you. Um, this video, um, I'm going to go through a little bit slower than uh, the last one. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the crosses, stuff like that, um, and the percentages of what you'll get uh, with different things. Because um, it's not going to be just as simple as uh, like a simple recessive, um, uh, just a single gene animal. Uh, a lot of stuff that I work with is like multi-gene animals. Um, three, four, sometimes five gene animals that... Um, you got to know uh, what they are and what they could throw and all that other stuff so you can kind of predict what the babies are going to look like a little bit. Um, so we're going to go over that. A um, couple other things that are kind of off topic a little bit, um, uh, but the one of them isn't. But anyway, um, this day in history actually is uh, Steve Irwin's birthday. So give a shout out to Steve Irwin, even though he's not with us anymore, um, and all of his great contributions that he did to... Uh, you know, get people into reptiles and uh, show them that they're not uh, such bad things. Um, the other thing, um, today is um, actually February 22nd. Um, so it is actually the 32nd anniversary of Team USA's uh, Miracle on Ice. Um, not the Disney movie, um, like the actual event that um, whenever uh, Team USA beat uh, Team Russia, um, in the 1980 Olympic Games, um, which back then that was like the big, big thing. Um, it was because uh, we still had the Cold War going on, and it was really the um, Team USA was a bunch of uh, college kids that um, were fresh out of college kids, and Team Russia was basically an unstoppable force that they won pretty much every single game, uh, and they basically beat you with intimidation. I mean, they went up against, like, NHL uh, all-star teams and kicked the crap out of them. So for a team of, uh, you know, 20, 21-year-olds, uh, maybe a couple 22-year-olds in there, um, to beat them um, was a very, very big deal, um, which is uh, pretty crazy to, to this day to think uh, how uh, sports would be um, such a... Uh, you know, a huge, like, political thing as well, because um, these days, like, it's not really a political thing anymore. Um, but back then, it uh, definitely was. Um, so, a uh, special shout-out to uh, Team USA. Um, 32 years ago, they uh, beat Team Russia. Um, but uh, anyway, um, that's just because I'm a hockey nut, and I like to, you know, know everything about hockey and stuff like that. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's get uh, into what we're going to get into. Um, I'm going to do a couple breakdowns of some of the crosses that I'm doing. Uh, maybe you can see the animals a little bit better as well. Um, uh, try to make it a little bit shorter uh, as well so that uh, I can upload it, uh, get some more stuff cooking. Because uh, this is a kind of a busy day. i got to do a lot of cleaning, getting my uh, bug order today. Uh, i got to ship some animals out. Uh, and, uh, you know, a couple other odds and ends uh, around the area that uh, got to get done today. So um, we'll uh, try to make uh, as, as much as we can here video-wise. And uh, maybe I'll make the video of uh, how I package everything up for shipping and stuff like that. So the people that are getting animals off me, I think there's, uh, I think there's four boxes going out today. 
I'll show you a little bit about how like I package the things up um, and then we can get the, that video underway as well. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's get into this genetic thing. Probably going to uh, get you guys a little messed up here. Again. The other thing that I noticed with uh, putting the camera on my head, like half the time I can't really see where it's pointed. Um, uh, usually I'm like way up here. Um, I want to kind of bring it down a little bit uh, lower. So hopefully uh, you guys can see what's going on here. Uh, hopefully that should be pretty close. Uh, there might be a little bit of a glare here, so hopefully uh, we can kind of eliminate that. Um, what I'm going to go over with you here is um, uh, this cross first. Uh, this cross, uh, like I said uh, yesterday, was uh, the total eclipse, which is this guy, uh, or a super eclipse, or a galaxy, whatever you want to call it, tons of trade names, um, to this female right here that's uh, actually a super raptor that we said that she's possibly a white and yellow as well. Um, the hard part about whenever you get to the super form of some of these animals is, especially in the albino form, um, is how do you tell what they actually are. Um, this one, for instance, uh, we just have to prove it out, um, the white and yellow part. Um, the raptor has already been proven out because both parents were actually, uh, um, had eye, eye pigmentation to them. So that one is definitely a raptor. Uh, but because of, it's an, because of it being albino, plus the eye pigmentation, plus it's uh, a super snow as well. Uh, so the only thing that we got to really uh, look out for in this one is uh, the white and yellow. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of break this down for you a little bit. We're going to put these guys back so that they're not, like, freaked out. Okay. The, uh, the animals that we're using here are uh, super raptor. Oh, if I could spell, pos, white and yellow. And over here, we're going to go with the uh, total eclipse. All right, so what we're going to do is actually we're going to break down um, what's in each of these animals so that we can do the, uh, the percentages and stuff like that. Um, so first off, with a super raptor, um, it's already a super snow. So we'll put... Uh, super snow right here. Um, the raptor means that it's a tremper. Because you got to remember that raptor is actually a bunch of different genetics into one animal. Um, and it's also got what we're going to do is call it the eye pig mint. All right. So these are the three genes that are definitely being expressed in that animal. Um, the super snow being um, the super form of max snow. Uh, the tremper is just your uh, uh, recessive uh, albino. And the eye pigmentation uh, is just that, the, the eye pigmentation. So you basically got the eye pigmentation and the albino and the super form. And then we said it's possible white and yellow, so we're just going to put that here as well. So technically, this animal could be have four different genetics going on in it at one time, um, which the, the white and yellow is the dominant um, thing, so you don't have to worry about uh, having the other uh, animal having anything to do with that. If you hatch out any white and yellows out of this cross right there, then this is true right here. And then it's no longer possible, it is white and yellow. If you don't, um, since it's a female, it, it still could be, but uh, it's not proven out yet. Um, but usually, uh, out of, usually most females will lay like uh, eight eggs uh, is pretty common. Um, you get eight babies out of it, you should get a white and yellow, because the white and yellow, half the babies... Um, should be uh, white and yellow. All right, so we're going to come over here to this uh, the total eclipse side, and again we have the super snow, and we have um, we actually this uh, total eclipse was born last year, so I am not sure. Um, it is possible het for tremper, which I should write that here, and that's one of the things that we're proving out with this guy. 
Um, so the albino trait in this one uh, is an unknown still. We don't know if it uh, is head or not. So we're just gonna kind of leave that blank here. And then we'll get into the other stuff uh, as we go on. Um, the other thing that it is definitely showing is the eye pigment. Okay, so on both sides here, um, you'll see that they're, it, they're both supers. So super to super is always gonna give you more super snows. Sorry, my handwriting is like pretty sloppy. It's uh, almost like a doctor's handwriting because it's uh, just pretty crazy. Um, both of them have the eye pigmentation. So that means that every single baby is going to be an eye pigmented gecko. Whether it uh, be uh, the Eclipse version, which is just the non-albino version, or the Raptor version, it's always going to have eye pigment. All right, all of these animals, because this one is um, is a tremper, and this one we, we're not sure of, all of them are, all the babies are at least going to be het tremper. If this one proves out that it is um, uh, het, which you could just, if we called this one a het, het to a normal, or head, head to the visual, I should say, will give you half the babies will be uh, the visual. Uh, albino. Okay? So this is one of the things that we're going to be testing for right here is to see if it's either all the babies are going to be head tremper, which all the babies, no matter what, are going to be head tremper because of this. Um, whether we get trempers or not, um, is going to depend on if this animal is het for tremper uh, or albino, I should say. Uh, albino and tremper in this situation are going to be interlinked. Um, the other thing that we're testing for is this right here, the white and yellow. So if this animal is white and yellow, half of the babies there will be white and yellow because it's dominant. All right. So basically, every single animal. Um, in this could tell us something. Um, all of these animals, at the very least, are going to be super snow and eye pigmentation, which equals total eclipse, or galaxy, or anything like that. Or not, not, not the galaxy. Yeah, the galaxy. I'm sorry. I was thinking of the universe. Uh, all these, uh, you know, names and stuff like that even can confuse me at sometimes. So um, the uh, the super snow. Eye, eye pigmentation animal is going to be a total eclipse or super eclipse. So that is the very least that you're going to get from this combination. If it is, um, if it proves out that this one is het for uh, tremper, you'll also get, uh, which we're going to write uh, super, this is just the stuff that you could get from it. Uh, you can get the super eclipse or total eclipse. We'll just put that there as well. Uh, th that's the thing that you can get, you know, all the time out of this combination. Um, you could get super raptors out of this too. Because we said that if this one's het for tremper, half of the babies um, should be visually albino. So whenever you have that, uh, you're going to have this combination right here. Because again, all of the animals are at least going to be super snow with the eye pigmentation. You throw the tremper in there, you got the super raptor. So this is the other thing that you could produce out of that cross. If, um, if it happens to be that uh, the super raptor is a white and yellow, plus uh, all these super eclipses over here are going to be het tremper as well. Alright, the other thing. Uh, that we're testing for in this cross is the white and yellow gene. The white and yellow gene, uh, like I said, is dominant. So half the babies, on average, should be white and yellow. So if it does prove out to be, um, prove out to be white and yellow, uh, this super raptor, then you'll have a super snow with the eye pigmentation with the white and yellow. So then you'd have 
the universe coming out of that cross. Which the universe, all it is, is a super snow eclipse white and yellow. So it's got uh, the, th the three genes going on there. Uh, showing at the same time, basically. And then again, since uh, the mother was a tremper, they're all going to be at tremper as well. So it's going to be three visual things that are showing, plus uh, the recessive that's not showing. Uh, the other thing, and the fourth thing that you can get out of this cross, if everything lines up and, uh, you know, everything it, that we're testing for proves out, it's going to be uh, another animal that I would have to test out because what you're going to get is um, you're going to get the, uh, the super snow with the eye pigmentation, with the albino, with the white and yellow, which uh, there's not like a name for it or anything like that. It's probably just a white and yellow super raptor, if you will. Um, so then you'll get, like I said, a white and yellow super raptor which again with this you're gonna have to prove it out um, the the thing with these super raptors that are gonna hatch out of this is that if I don't hatch out any um, non trempers that are white and yellow um, I'm probably gonna say that uh, there, there's no white and yellow in here it's still possible um, that, you know, the odds just didn't add up. So all of these babies that are, if they hatch out Tremper, they could be white and yellows. Um, but again, you got to prove them all out. That's the kind of crappy part about um, having the Super Raptor white and yellows is you got to prove them out. Uh, because the white and yellow, it's not one of those things that's going to show up in every single animal like the Eclipse uh, gene. So all of these animals have to be proven out.